of an unmarried couple, be close. Let's talk about the production of the wheels for the convention center. Let's see how we can batch produce it for it. First open this file, drag it into the credit, and then open the file. Interjection of surprise. This file opens. Which keel do we study first? Let's take a look. The keel is done here. But what about this keel? There's something wrong with it. Let's do a little optimization. First open this model. Let's examine how this one keel is made. This is the original keel. It'll be through and through by then. And then this is a small keel. When the time comes, this place will be cut off. Then this upper keel is the keel for the curtain wall skin. Let's first open this layer and look at it. This is the skin of the curtain wall. Because the keel is from the epidermis back down, it's parallel to the epidermal normal. So? We'll start by measuring the distance from this world to this epidermis. What about this distance? We can see from the node diagram of our curtain wall that, what about, everyone can go, get the CAD drawings. What about here? I'll just give you the measurements straight away. Let's hide it for a second. But it was popped up with a dialog box like this one. Why is that? This is because the current layer is now this. So we can create a new layer here. Move this layer up. Then double click on it. Make this layer tick. What about this layer? We can turn it off. Then we create a new layer on top of the one that generated the keel. And then this layer you can name a through the keel. What about this through keel? You choose it. Because it is grouped right click to change object layer, we'll put it in another layer. So? This generates the keel and we turn it off. So let's look at the distance from this world to the epidermis. We'll start by using the right click on this one to pull away from the face above it, and hide it. What about, let's use this one more normal. Draw a normal straight up perpendicular from this face. And then, let's show this epidermis. Then select this epidermis. Use this trimming tool. The visual focus must be chosen or not a cut out. What about this? It just happens to be on this side. Then turn off the layer. Then we measure it. The epidermis to this hub has a length in the pitch analysis. It's 0 0.967 meters. And then we record the number. Pseudo 7, 3 7 TCM. It then enters 0 0.967. I'm sure. This one is wrong. We'll give it a delete. Then double click here to give it a bit of a hide from this distance. We got it. So let's measure out this keel again. It's the length of its width. Let's see it's 0 0.2 meters. Wheel. What about this direction? It's 0 0.36. What if it's vertical? Let's look at its vertical distance from the vertical point. Look at it. It's 0 0.35. Then you need to record this value. This is 0 0.35. And this is 0 0.2 0.2. That's 0 0.1 on each side. So what happens when you record it? Let's look at how this keel is generated. First we have to open the, this panel, and then, what about the epidermis? Make a combination. It's all checkbox combinations. I'll start with this little demonstration of box checking. Combine it. Then we'll put it together as a whole. Then we can open this class up. What about this surface? We can use this one. It's called a poly surface. We can give it a pickup. Pick up A. So it's picking up multiple. Pick it up. And then what happens after you lose it? Tap system. What is the system? It's the file you deleted from Rhino. I still have the data here and hide it. And what's the number just now? 0 0.967. What about this side? I use Rhino to offset, because Grahop it doesn't have multiple situation offsets. I'll just use the new oil first, just doing a project. It's the new oil that's good for you. Just use the new oil to make Grahop just use the Grahop to make it good. Don't force all of them to use the back of the grid, that's a long way to go for an electronic group. It's also less efficient. Invert, upside down, inside out, back to front, white to black etc. So this is 0 0.9670. 967. Then you can use 0 0.1 for the tolerance. Whether or not the entity is deflected down, of an unmarried couple, be close. We can turn this layer off now. Then we'll take it. It's this side, the 0 0.967 side. You can see it's offset to fit underneath. There will be a lot of structural lines. Select it and click on this property to give it a hide. And then, let's look at how to generate this keel. And then we'll start with this one that we made ah, this noodle. Now in layer 8 create a new, you can name the offset surface. Let's observe. Open these three layers. Let's see this is going to be a steel structure. And then, 
We've just offset an epidermis. You'll find this keel then. What needs to be done on site? What about this wheel? Now what do I need to make it? Need first we need to brace on this. And then. It also needs to be matched to the shape of the face. Because this one will have secondary bones on it by then. So there are these two needs. The first is with this spacing. It's a given. So through and through. And then. There's also an extension down from here. Of an unmarried couple, be close. What about? What about our keel? We're going to get some here. Let's find this center point and go up. Stray from the intended line. Let's turn off this hub. And turn off these balls. And then select it to group up. We can give it a capping action ah. Cover it all up. Interjection of surprise. What we want is for this surface to be covered. Give it all a blast. And then. Let's open the gate and find this side. That's the one that gives it the pickup. Pick up these multiple sides. Then you have to take one in order. Two or three. And then next is this four. Five. Six. Seven. The eights should come together. What about after Hershey's? Let's take a look. I'll turn off the layer. Interjection of surprise. We just took this side ah well. I'm demonstrating this side. Of an unmarried couple, be close. Let's take a look. Then we find the top corner of the bracket, the bottom side. Then we can shell out a bit. Shell out. And then. Draw a normal line from here as well. Paint it like this. And then we'll see what the spacing is with the through hub we just had. Let's start by zooming in here. And then right click to blow this up. Then select it. And then. Hide the others. Let's take a look. Let's take this one and trim the math intersection to eliminate the top. Then you can find the length of the line to be 0.05 meters. That is to say here it's. The distance is 0.05. We recorded it coming up 0.05 from the bracket. What about this data? You can do it in CAD. You can find it on the plans. I'm here. Because it was modeled beforehand. So? I'll just take one measurement directly from the model. And then this is 0.05 meters. So this goes up from 0.05. That's why we first need to find this face. And then. Find the center of the area of this face. And then. What about this point? Make a move. Move up to 0.05 on this. You'll notice it's moving down now. Reverse is not necessary. Give it a go. Let's see if it moves to this surface. What about moving to this side? We need to get this line eventually. Get this line out of here. With this line. We can then generate this tube for it. That's what we're ultimately trying to generate this pipe well. Let's take a look at this post tube electronics group how it's done. First you need to lose. These sides should be lost in order. And then. We find the center of its area. And then the center of the area to find the normal direction ah. That's the command. What about this command? It is a combination of these two commands. First of all you are going to. It's on this side. What about this point? It's projected onto this surface. Find the UV coordinates of this point. And then connect it to this normal direction. Then you get this normal direction. Then give it a move. 0.05. If you look to see if it's moving down or up ah, if it's the other way around. You're still going to take this reversal. What happens after you take it over? And what about this? You can wire it. You flatten it. Then give it a polyline connection. That's the order. Look at its serial number, 01234567. It is a concatenation in this order. What about after you're wired? Let's stretch it a little. Stretch out. Then give it an extrusion ah. Extrude 20 meters upwards. And then make a move down ah. This is the opposite direction of the z-axis moving down. Okay, we've just offset the epidermis. Offset by this distance. And then. Because of the thread we're wearing. It doesn't match the shape of the epidermis. So. We're going to take this line then. Carry one ah extrusion with this face it. It's a crossover. What about this? It passes both these brackets. And then the shape of the skin. It's a match. With this thread. Then we'll give it a. Warehouse manager. Put on a square tube. What about the warehouse manager? What about this monorail sweep? This is the one to go for. What if you choose this one? There might be a gap in the middle of it. Then you'll have to pick this one. Eventually we can right click on the shell out to get ah this tube we look at got this tube. What about this pipe? What are its specifications? We first you have to do this tube ah. You have to make a vertical work plane for it. 
And what about this work plane? It's a little smaller here. Type in 8 and press enter. It's such a work plane. What about this command? It is the line through which the perpendicular work plane. Then we just wear a piece of. A paragraph is the beginning and the end will have two. What about? What about the size of our rectangle? We just measured it. And this side is 0.1 meter. It's 0.1 meter here, too. So what's the size of its y? That's minus 0.1. It's negative this way. It's positive this way. It's 0.1. This is a range of y. What about the range of x? It is then from 0.0. .0. And how much is here? 0.35 meters of one such rectangle. What about this rectangle? It generates the first and last. Because there are two work planes. Look at this one here. Here's one. And the monorail? Just pick one. Don't pick two. Just pick one. Then there's a rail. Add a cross section. That's it. This is a select command. Then got this one. And then what happens after that? You can mouse over here. Right click on the shell to get out. Shell to this layer. But what about after the shells? Let's take a look. Causality. Turn off its structural wires. And then here it's a tangent. Interjection of surprise. You're going to have to show this angle of cut when the time comes. He'll cut a corner in time for the machining plan. And then. Reweld here. Then weld here. What happens after the keel is created? Because of the production and processing, so you'd better give it a number. Then derive a list of its lengths again. And then a labeling on the model as well. Then we can proofread it on site. First of all, what about this number? You can start from scratch. Let's say this is 8.91 meters. This is 2.38 meters. What about here? Actually, in the end. We'll have to cut it down a bit. He should come over for this one. Of an unmarried couple, be close. So how does this work? What about this one? That's what we need to put in these lines. That is, first make a copy of these edges. It's just copying this edge first. This one uses rhinoceros to copy the edge. Interjection of surprise. Copy it here, and then. Use this line to grab multiple lines. Then you can automatically go to the Hachiko consequences. And then, uh. Give it to him. And then what happens when you give it to him? It's just a label. Where's the label? We can mark 0.5 of this ah center point ah. The center point has moved up a little bit. Because if you don't move. When the time comes, the word is trapped inside the chakra. Then mark its length. Find its length. Because of its length, it's very accurate. You see, we only need 2. That's multiplying it by 100. 8.9, 1 becomes 891. Then round it up. That's rounding. And then change it back. That's 8.91. And then? 8.91 plus a meter ah. 8.91 meters. This one uses a linking symbol. Here's the text. What about where it's labeled? That's the size. It's the size of the label. This color of the label ah, you can change the color yourself. That's all I got. You can give him a brighter color. And what about the labeled locations? We could be, it's just a little below this number. This one has the same number. First of all, you can double click and write one yourself. A 1A2 is fine. Or B1B2 a bar. After that, how many lines are there? This is the length of the list. How many lines can it count? There are seven chakras here. What about this chakra? It's okay if you start your numbering from scratch. It's okay to start at the beginning. Is an isotropic series. So it's a zero. Place between two numbers indicate a smaller quantity followed by a larger one. A bar one bar two ah this way labeled here. Give it a size. Give it a color. What about this size? You can harmonize these two. Concurrent enlargement. Turn it down at the same time. And then this rice is underneath this. So? What about me? Taking 0.5 is the position of the end point. What about 0.7? It's just below the midpoint. Then it's two points down. It will follow the direction of this line ah. Give him some distance. This distance is adjustable. Interjection of surprise. Let's move a distance. Get this one. Of course the data. We can also make a table. I'll talk about it later. Of course you can. Import it into Excel. Right click and save. A lot of ways or copy it into an Excel document. Of an unmarried couple, be close. That's all for this lesson.